Hey Justin, how are you? I'm great, how are you Mel? Great, are you ready to walk and talk through our new global headquarters? I sure am. So tell me a little bit about what you do at Worldwide. Yeah, I'm Director of Corporate Properties. My responsibilities include lease and space acquisition, construction, facilities management, and security. Does that mean you visited all our WWT offices? Not quite. There's a few I haven't been to, but for the most part, I've seen them all. How long have you worked at Worldwide? 20 years. What did you do prior to working here? Uh, middle school. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I spent some time in the military, but Worldwide's pretty much all I've ever known. Is this building the largest project you've ever managed? By far. How long did construction take from start to move in? 20 months. What advice did you receive before starting this project? Well, my former boss, Dan Swoboda, looked me in the eye on his way into retirement and said, it's all yours, kid, don't call me. Any funny special requests you can share? Yeah, sure. Someone suggested we put a zip line between O'Fallon Brewery and our roof. Oh, that would make Happy Hour really convenient. For sure. How does our app, ATC Connect, play into the visitor experience? Yeah, it streamlines how our customers and visitors get in and out of the building, how they get in and out of the garage, and also provides a schedule for their day here at Worldwide. So this wall is really impressive. How big is it? Yeah, this video mosaic wall is 34 feet wide by 19 feet tall. A couple years ago, with the acquisition of Asynchrony, we adopted ideation and agile processes. How have those concepts been integrated throughout the building? Yeah, we actually built a room dedicated to ideation. It's got lots of writable surface. The furniture in it is dynamic and can be moved around. And it's got lots of great technology. Were there any ideation sessions held about the concept of this building? Oh yeah, sure. We uh, had an ideation session around the design of our new auditorium. Any key ideas you can share from that session? Sure, we talked about pro projection technology, LED versus uh, pro projector. Uh, we also talked about lighting, acoustics, and probably most importantly, the seating. How did technology come into play with this new space? Lots of great technology that we've added in the way of room scheduling and wayfinding. We've got lots of digital media signage throughout the building and a brand new prism wall in our New York room uh, for our ATC virtual showcase space. Is it true technology even played an important piece when it came to the building plans? It sure did. Our architect introduced a tool called immersive design, which is a virtual reality technology that we were able to walk through the space both inside and out and make tweaks to the design as, we, uh, as uh, the project went on. What piece of technology could you not live without? Personally for me, uh, the wayfinding I use every day, 70 conference rooms in this building, it gets you to where you're going really quickly. What's your favorite spot in the building? My favorite spot is the lower level work cafe. I've heard a lot of teams have bets to see who will be the first to take the elevator to get to their floor. How many steps is it from top to bottom? 175. And that's how many floors? That's from the lower level all the way up to the sixth floor. Can you name the themes attributed to our conference rooms on each floor? Yeah, so some of the themes, uh, as it's the, the, the overall theme for the building is global. We have global cities that we're in, famous beers, global beers, uh, famous stadiums around the world, and famous parks. What's the building's total square footage? 208,000 square feet. And does that include the parking garage? It doesn't. The parking garage is an additional 260,000 square feet, or 768 parking stalls. So the building is made up of floor-to-ceiling windows. How many panes of glass were used? Yeah, 1,855. So we also have a lake out there off our deck. How many gallons of water does it hold? The lake holds 32,400 gallons of water when it's completely full. And down the hallway there, what's down there? That's our new state-of-the-art auditorium. I hear the LED screen in it is one of the largest in North America. It is. It's 52 feet wide by 12 feet tall. So we're really big on food around here. What's your favorite menu item from the on-site cafe? Yeah, I like the salads, personally. What about favorite restaurant in Westport Plaza? Oh, you've got the new Westport Social that just opened, Fuzzy's Tacos. And uh, a great place to grab a beer after work is a uh, train wreck. What are some other amenities that come with the new digs? Well, we've got our own private deck now, showers, and we've got a shuttle that runs between our tech campus and here. Were there any muses for the look and feel of the building? Sure. Uh, this sketch was done by our architect team uh, on vacation in Florida, and it gives you basically the, the basic geometric design of the building. And can you tell me what's going on in this tweet? Oh, this is our CEO and CFO. 
participating in an immersive design session that I talked about earlier. So this is our first LEED certified building. What were some of the requirements to meet that designation? Well, we've got maximized energy efficiency, also efficiency in our water consumption and runoff, and building automation. Were there any other sustainability considerations made for the building? We used a lot of uh, sustainable building materials in the construction. What's the most unexpected issue that came up during the process of this build? Probably the most uh, unexpected was uh, having to manage the fish in the lake from time to time during the project. <laughs> would you have done anything different? I don't think we would have done anything too drastically different. The uh, feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, we might have made a, we might make a few changes over the next few months, but for the most part, we're very happy and hope everyone else is as well. So what's up next? Well, we continue to grow here at Worldwide, so we've got uh, some remote expansions planned throughout the U.S. and around the globe. I know throughout this project you had a little catchphrase you always said when things weren't quite going as planned. Can you share what that was? Well, I always told our CFO it's going to be a really cool building. Well, that it is. Thanks for the tour, Justin. Thanks, Mel. To hear more from our experts, subscribe to our YouTube channel.